Do you have itchy red eyes? Could be more than just allergies. Or maybe not. Our next guest will explain what to look for and what might help. Time to take it over to Mark and itchy eyes. Oh boy, I'm telling you, this time of year, you know, everybody says, oh, I have itchy, scratchy eyes, and they automatically attribute it to allergies. But uh, it could be something more serious. So let's talk to the doctor about that and uh, make sure that we're going to be safe here. Dr. Carl Hillier from the San Diego Center for Vision Care. First thing you, you want to do is rule out anything that might be vision threatening, right? That's important. A lot of these uh, more benign situations can masquerade as a, as a more vision threatening issue. So yeah, you want to be careful. And there's so many different entities involved that unless you really get definitive about it and rule out these other issues, you might have a situation that could be vision threatening. So besides yeah. uh, allergies, you, you've got what, dry eye, bacteria, uh, viral, viral. Uh, computer vision syndrome is another one that's coming about now for a lot of people. Well, let's talk allergies first and let people know what the symptoms are for that and the treatments. Then we'll talk about some of these other things sure. that it could be if it's not allergies. Right. Allergies, fortunately, isn't a vision-threatening issue. It's not going to affect your sight uh, permanently. It might affect it intermittently during the, the phase of your allergic reaction. But allergies, the hallmark of allergies is itchiness big-time itchiness, redness, irritation, uh, and it can be very debilitating to your lifestyle, you know, getting out in the springtime and the summertime. Now, is, there's a difference, though, between itchy and gritty. Yeah. Now, I, my eyes often feel like I've got sand in them. Right. A grittiness feeling is often secondary to dryness, and it's sometimes a bacterial infection as well. Uh, viral infections sometimes can feel a little bit gritty as well. Okay, so that, that is different from an allergy. Very then. different, yeah. The allergies are itchy, some watery, redness, uh, rubbing of the eyes. You don't want to rub the eyes when you have an allergy if you can help it because it just exudes all the, the other issues that, that cause the cascade of effects to itchiness and redness and swelling. So if it just is allergies, what's the best treatment for that? Over-the-counter, medication, uh, or well, prescription? It, the California Optometric Association recommends that you first determine if it's an allergy by a doctor of optometry. That's the best way, because if you do miss it and it's a viral or bacterial infection, that could be vision threatening. But if it does turn out to be an allergy, uh, one of my favorite remedies is to put a warm, or excuse me, a wet washcloth in a baggie put it in the freezer and the next day when you go out to the park or wherever you go bring that with you put it in the cooler and when the symptoms arise you can put that baggie over your face for a few minutes over your eyes it's very soothing also to so just a nice cold compress cold compress yeah. is one of the best things you can do and rinse it out with saline the eye just get it soothed and get rid of all that debris that seems to be so a simple it. saline solution that right some of these drops that that talk about getting the red out so that's different, isn't it, than, than soothing the eye that, that's irritated? Yeah, it is a little different. The, red, the drops that get the red out do constrict the blood vessels, and they provide some immediate relief, but they don't really get rid of the problem, and they can often result in a rebound effect where the eyes get redder than they were originally. So if you can avoid the redness reducing drops, that would be ideal. Now, I, with, for this grittiness that I'm talking about, the only thing that I've found is prescription medication from my doctor yeah. that really relieves that. And I've had to go all the way to a, a steroidal yeah. drop, and then you start worrying about uh, addiction to that well, or, or dependency effects. on it, or what, what would you call that? Right, yeah, kind of a dependency upon that. And over a long, long term, it can result in other things. And you have to be able to do that in a very specific way. You don't want to do too many of those steroidal drops too often. You have to taper off of them, but those are a last resort. And the greediness is oftentimes just resolved by sometimes just regularly lubricating drops can do that. Okay, and the yeah. lubricating drops aren't addictive and you can no. use as much of those as you want, basically? That, that's right, so long as you've identified exactly what the source of the issue is. Okay, let's talk yeah. about the more serious stuff then. Yeah. If it happens to be uh, bacterial or viral, right. are, are the symptoms different enough that you might start to get some warning signs and know to go to the doctor? Yeah, certainly if you have a um, bacterial infection, the, the discharge is kind of a goopy discharge. It's kind of mucousy. It can be green or yellow, disgusting Ooh. stuff. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, and that needs to be treated right away, too. The eyes are very red, and, and but you can resolve that within two or three days with a, an appropriate antibiotic. A viral infection, on the other hand, is more uh, watery, lots of watery eyes, still red, 
but if it's the wrong kind of virus, that can get right into your cornea and cause scarring. So you don't want to misdiagnose or self-diagnose that. You got to go to your optometrist. And I think that's that. the danger because you've got all these medications out here on the table that we can just take yeah. a look at. All these things are out there. They all promise to take care of these symptoms. That's right. And the, yeah. the temptation really is, well, I'll find something over the counter that'll at least make my eyes feel a little better. But if you don't completely resolve the problem, it could be vision that, threatening. That's right. That's why the California Optometric Association recommends you go to your optometrist, get it diagnosed, and that way they can specifically pinpoint the medication that's appropriate. And it could be over the counter. It could be a prescription uh, that you use once a day to get rid of the allergic response. It could be an antibiotic or it could be more specialized kind of eye drop that's directed specifically to your needs. Sure. Yeah. Of course, we're not going to know without talking to a doctor. So, yeah. uh, Dr. Carl Hillier, thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. Thanks a lot, Mark. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, for more information, you go to sandiego6.com. Just click on Hot Topics.